Hi guys, today we are gonna be making some oatmeal raisin cookies. We're just gonna use the recipe on the back of the oatmeal box, but we're gonna modify it a little bit because instead of flour, we're gonna use half flour and half white cake mix. And we're also not going to add any nuts. Our oven is preheated to 375. And now we're gonna start putting in our ingredients. My daughter Mason is helping. And before we started doing this at all, we washed our hands really well for at least 20 seconds with soap and water in the sink. Added one cup of butter and one cup of sugar to our bowl. And Mason is gonna go ahead and cream those together until they are nice and blended. Two eggs and one teaspoon of vanilla. And we are going to mix that together. Our wet ingredients aside, and we have a new bowl that we're gonna put our dry ingredients in. And we're gonna start with one cup of flour and one cup of white cake mix. And now we have added one teaspoon of baking soda, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of salt. Next, we're gonna add three cups of uncooked oats. Instead of nuts, we are going to use some raisins. And once all of the raisins are in the dry mixture, we're gonna mix it all up really, really good. We're mixing up the dry mixture really, really good. And then we are going to slowly add it to the wet mixture. Now we are slowly adding some of our dry mixture to our wet mixture, and we're gonna mix it in a little bit at a time. It's mixed together really well. We're gonna put it on these parchment paper lined cookie sheets in teaspoon sized balls. Now that our cookie dough is on our cookie sheets, we're gonna eat, have an adult, slide it into the oven. Set the timer for 10 minutes. While we're waiting for our cookies to bake, we cleaned up, did the dishes, and got our cookie racks set out so that they can cool. Now that our cooked cookies are out and our uncooked cookies are in the oven, we are going to put the cookies on the cooling rack so that we can enjoy them is when you get to eat them. 